What is up? It's another beautiful day here in uh, New York, January. I say that term loosely because it's cold out and there's snow on the ground, but you know, we make the most of it. So what do we have today? Well, we have some parts that uh, came in for the uh, six foul. So I'm gonna show you a few of those parts. Uh, not everything is in yet, but I wanna show you guys what I got so far. And I also wanna tell you uh, what else is on the way. Also, I threw together uh, the intro you saw in the beginning. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that permanently, that one, but um, it's better than not having one for now. Yeah, let me know if uh, you guys like that. I figure I'd just throw in a lot of the stuff that I do and a lot of the stuff that's gonna be on the channel. Um, it's just something quick, you know, just something like that. Well, you can already guess that one of the things is uh, mirrors. As you can see, I don't know why or how, but the glass is off this, and there is a big hole right here. So, I actually ordered new ones they're black with chrome caps but i'm going to do them white and leave the chrome cap and then they have uh, led side markers which will be pretty nice and then i had someone say nice invisible drive shaft but um i guess they didn't watch because like i said in the other vlog um the part will actually be here in like two days and then i'm gonna put the front drive shaft in it's not that i didn't want to put it in it's not that i don't have it it's right there so yeah, and it's actually kind of funny because the key that came with this is all, um, it's all blown apart and the fob doesn't work and stuff. So I actually went through a company, this is not a sponsor, but I went through a company called Simple Key and um, I actually got, so I can find the old piece of the old key here, hold on, I'm reaching for it. I don't know where it was, but it's just a standard Ford key and it was all blown apart. All right, so this is a different day but it's pertaining to the same video. Uh, I want to show you guys this uh, key through simple key that I got. I'm not paid by them at all, but this is my current key right here. You can see that. What happened was it broke inside where the chip is. So right now it's all taped up. Um, it's pretty hideous, it's bulky. And I decided to go with a key for a 2011 and newer style. So my only worry is I hope that this style key and the chip inside of it will work with the older style ignition and the older style key. So when I was looking for a new key, I could have just bought this one, which doesn't have any buttons on it. Uh, it's just the older style. So it has a Ford logo and then it has a fob that hangs off it. But I wanted the newer style like I had on my 6.7 where the buttons are built in and that's what this style key is for so um i mean everything should work as long as the program process uh goes good um because i believe the shank on the key is the same length so when they cut it there shouldn't be an issue there if you could see that it looks like they're uh they're pretty similar so cutting it shouldn't be an issue I'm just worried about the uh, programming of it, like I said. But this uh, company, actually, um, they send you everything you need to program the key to your vehicle so you don't have to go to the dealership and spend all the money. So you get your key cut, obviously. You put it in the ignition, and then they send you with this right here, which plugs in your OBD2, and it tells you which dial to go to for your specific vehicle. So most likely I'll get a cut uh, tomorrow or sometime this week and then uh, and then I'll update everyone and show you guys if it worked or not I think it will um, I don't see why it won't but this is just a nice little modern touch on an older vehicle that you know try to modernize it a little bit something else I ordered for the inside is actually one of those um, stitch kits for the steering wheels so that'll be pretty interesting and fun to put on here um, it's leather that you stitch around and uh, get rid of all this wear. Well, it'll cover it up at least is what I'm getting at. Oh, and another big thing that I got for this that I'm going to attempt, which could go either good or bad. I think I'll be fine with it though because I detail cars, I know how to polish. But I ordered a polisher with compound and everything to try to get these to shine back up again. Gorgeous wheels, I want to keep them nice. But like I said, as you could see, they do show that they could use a real good cleaning. So I ordered a uh, polisher with uh, different pads and compound 
and uh, hopefully we'll get these looking like a mirror or close to it and something really cool about this truck that i didn't notice when i first got it that i later noticed the whole frame on this truck is powder coated as well as the front and rear axles i'll show you what it looks like it's pretty cool i don't know if you can really see that but it's almost like a uh it's almost like a uh, kaleidoscope, I guess you'd call it. Maybe like a uh, like a holographic kind of look. But yeah, the whole frame is done in that, as well as the axles, which is pretty cool. Now, the next thing I want to do on it, too, I'm still looking into companies. I'm not too sure who I want to go with yet. If anyone knows any good companies or people that make really good custom traction bars, let me know. I think I'm thinking about doing it to this. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure if I want to do it yet. Um, I'd like some feedback. Um, I don't know if anyone has ever seen it, but I want to put a 2020 to 2022 front bumper on this. They actually made up very well to the bottom of the grill and the headlights. And they look really cool, in my opinion, and it gives them more of a modern look. So I was thinking about doing that. Uh, the new style bumper, probably have it color matched to this tan. So the tan on the bottom follows, goes over, and then tan right here. And then I was thinking about an FX4 grill. I'd want to do one of them in white. So I was thinking a white grill with a tan bumper. But yeah, any input's appreciated. Um, I think it'd look pretty cool. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I also got a puppy, but he's a little little baby Australian Shepherd. This is his cage. Hi, buddy. Hi. You gonna rip a face? He's a three month old Australian Shepherd. He's pretty wild. His name's Tucker. Hi, buddy. We took him down to Tractor Supply and got him a cute little new collar and a leash. Trying to get him more, you know, acquainted with people and everything. I also just put the 6.4 on the road, but I'm not driving it until the salt's gone. So when I first got the truck, uh, Allie tried jumping in and she couldn't. She was a little upset she didn't make the cut, so uh, we're going to watch her jump in the truck again and see if she can get it first try. Oh boy, the run up. <laughs> see, now I can You got it first it. <laughs> try? It's still a leap though. Here, I'll try it now. I think you'd do it better than me, ready? Tyler says I cave in the seat when I do it, so. I don't want to kick anything though. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is weird for me, because I'm used to going on the other side. I don't want to. Would you, you grab the handle? Come on, you got it. Or did you grab one of the. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, that doesn't count, hold on. <laughs> you did it. Yeah, it was easy. It wasn't even hard. <laughs> so yeah, slowly but surely, uh, we're going to get this thing rolling and, you know, start getting parts on it, getting it ready for Atlantic City in June. I signed it up for show field parking. I didn't do VIP because, I, I mean, I don't think it's really qualified for VIP, but it's still a very nice truck. But I think it'll be fun. I almost forgot. This thing has orange cab lights, and I don't want orange cab lights. Uh, the lenses are clear, which is cool. I'm going to leave them but I'm gonna uh, throw some LED bulbs in there. I'll show you what they look like right now. So if you look, and one of them is out. So I wanna take those orange ones out and uh, replace them with some uh, white LED ones. Uh, I got a couple boxes here. I'm sure I can find enough in between these two to put up in there. You see how filthy this thing is up here. With it being this tall, I guess, you know, it's not really a easy task to get up here and clean it all the time. But anyway, yeah. So these five cab lights, they're already clear. They already got LEDs in them, but they're orange LEDs and I don't want that. So it's just a Phillips screw on each one of these. Pop this out, pop the new bulbs in and see how it looks. All right, so we got our packet of, or well, box of LEDs right here. Um, so right now they're orange, as you guys saw. This one, the old one. And this is the same bulb, but this one is a white LED instead of orange. So we'll throw this one in and see how that looks. All right, we got this bulb in. I'm gonna jump down and turn on the lights to make sure it works first and everything. And uh, if that works good, then we'll throw the other ones in. All right, three down, two to go. And just like that, we added 20 horsepower from doing LED cab lights. That looks a lot better because nothing else is orange on the truck. Uh, the Morimoto's have this nice uh, Oracle that goes around with the LED projector. Um, so it was just out of place having them up there being orange because even the new mirrors have white LED. But yeah, that looks a lot better. She And I actually like the uh, I like the clear. I was thinking about getting smoke lenses, but I actually really like the uh, clear lenses with the LED. It's kind of fitting for it. 
It looks good though. I'm happy with it. Now that I got them on, uh, once I paint the uh, mirrors white with the chrome caps and the LEDs, I think it'll look awesome up front here. So yeah, that's it for today. A few little updates on the 6.4 um, with a lot more to come. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. I really appreciate all the support I've been getting. Um, the last view on the 6.4, I think it's at like 2,700 views or something like that. And my subscribers keep going up. Um, so yeah, I appreciate all the support and all the input I'm getting. Um, it means a lot. Uh, it seems like you guys like seeing the 6.4 and I like working on it and posting about it. And uh, there'll be a lot more to come soon as the parts start rolling in. Thanks for watching. Uh, give me some feedback in the comments and uh, I'll see you in the next one.